morning, people in the studio, in Instagram, and in Facebook, people of the internet. Uh, all announcements, announcements were made, so we're going to come to a seated position on the mat, obviously facing me. <laughs> And I treat this beginning of the class like, you know, the dogs or cats twirling around till they find their place to sit. So make it an internal arriving point. You may close your eyes. I invite you to start bringing your awareness to the breath. Soften your belly. And let the air in. And let the air out. Here is where we scan the body from top to bottom. We observe where the tension is. And we breathe. We don't judge. And if you have something more than tension, like pain, remember to breathe into it, acknowledge it, don't judge yourself, don't judge the pain. Big breath in. And let it go through the nose. Mm -hmm. One more time. Big breath in. And let it out through the nose. Mm -hmm. Keep that intention in the breath. Every time breathing in. Make it a bigger inhalation. Every time you take it out, make it a bigger exhalation. And on your next inhale, open your eyes and smile. Lower your shoulders, maybe a little bit of a roundabout with them to one direction. And then to the other. Chicken wings. <laughs> to the back. And to the front. And maybe some swimming <laughs> to the back. And bring your hands in front of you, palms facing up. Cork them in their place. So I'm corking the hand from the shoulder. Just a little bit of a s uh, switching of the movement in the shoulders. Next time you're up again, open the hands to a T and start pushing those thumbs down. But pay attention to your shoulders. Don't go up. Lower them. On your next exhale, bring the hands back to back together. Round your belly, release your head. I call this roly-poly. 
So open to a T, thumbs to the back with your breath. Exhale, roly poly. Move between those two for a few breaths with your own pace. Maybe opening the chest a little bit more when you open up. Maybe coming down a little lower by holding your knees as well. One more time, wherever you are. And release hands to the ground. Left hand goes up. Bend to the right. I'm not mirroring you. <laughs> and take it to the other side with your breath. So some side bends here. Try to remember to open the chest by pushing the elbows back. And at some point, you can roll forward, sweep your hands to the other side. Explore the movement and the ability of the spine to basically move 30, 360 degrees. One more time to each side and meet me in the center. Interlace the fingers behind your sacrum. Open the chest. Engage the core by tucking the tailbone in. So that will promote rising up. Yep. And then open the chest. You can drop the head back and round the head around, circle it around, while opening the chest and engaging the core. Pay attention to your breath. And release the hands, come back to center, walk the hands forward. A little bit of a stretch by walking the hands as far forward as you can, releasing the neck. Maybe forehead is on the ground, maybe not. Hmm. Coming back up. A twist to the right. A breath or two here. Make it a wholesome breath. Lower those shoulders. Take it slowly to the center and then to the other side. Again, tuck the tailbone in. I hope you see the difference. Here it's just sitting. Here is tucking it in. And bring it all back to the center again. Walk the hands just a tiny bit forward. Lift your bum bum up. Open your legs. Voila, we're in table. So table proper, everything is stacked. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Push over your wrists, just over your wrists, but at the same time, grab the mat with your fingers. So you're activating the wrists and testing what are they feeling today. Then come all the way back onto your heels, almost child's pose, and just Test the water by swaying side to side in your hips. You can release the head also to roll around and do whatever it needs to do. Explore this movement on the mat, opening the hips on the mat. And then come on back up. Maybe walk the hands just a tiny bit forward. Push over, releasing the thighs. Modification of upward dog of sorts. Just feel again, sway from side to side. Again, a, a little bit of exploration here. You're testing the wrists, you're testing the hips, shoulders too. Push into the shoulders, don't collapse into them. Go here. Yeah. And push back, tuck your toes under, come onto your heels, stretching the feet. A lot of people don't like this, but bear with me, unless you feel sharp pain, okay? 
about everything. Sharp pain, no good. But if it's just not comfortable, let it be. You're opening the most important base of your body. Circle the wrists or do whatever you want to do here for your wrists. I'm just going to voice what I do. Interlace fingers. You can do the infinity eight movement to one direction and the other. You can do the hairdresser. Call it the hairdresser. <laughs> It used to be the policeman, but hairdresser is less authoritarian. <laughs> and you can stretch the inside of your hands. Beautiful, beautiful for um, carpool tunnel. I like what you're doing. You can do it even up. Like it. So I do it always on the bottom. You can do it on the top too. Maybe it's different. Yeah, that's actually good. Thank you. <laughs> And shake, shake, shake. And I know these are like, ah. come back, untuck your toes and tap, 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 tap. Nice. Open your knees and circle the hips. So here you can bring everything we've done up till now into one movement. You can go over the wrists. You can come to upward dog. You can stretch the sides and sway from side to side. You can bend the elbows, come to child's pose. Whatever you need here to finally lubricate everything in the body. And switch direction. Bring those knees back under your hips. A tiny bit of cats and cows just to neutralize the spine again. Remember to let go of your neck. So important, we kind of like hold it here. Let it go in cat. So yes and no. And once you are done, and please take your time. If not, I'm waiting for everybody. Tuck your toes under and lift your knees to a hover. Tuck the tailbone in. So push the mat away with all fingers and palms of your hands, not only the root of your wrist. And step the left leg forward, just a little step. To a, in a hover, and back, then the right, step, and back. Play around with these, we're working on time, so take your time, and breathe. Try to leave the back at the same place, nothing is moving, just the hips. Three, two, one, release the knees to the ground, untuck your toes, come to child's pose, big breath here. Wholesome breath. Let it go through your nose, keep the heat inside. And push it back to table. Tuck your toes under, come to a hover. This time stepping the leg back. So right leg back, straight back, and bring it back. Left and back. Right and back. And now once again, you can do this slow, 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 or fast. Knees are in a hover. Tailbone is tucked. You're pushing the mat away, not collapsing into your shoulders. And breathing. Try to keep the spine in neutral. Three, two, one. Release back to child's pose. Hold some breath. And let it go. Tent your fingers as if you have an orange. 
under your palm of your hand. Walk them as far forward as you can. Release the head. Let those shoulder blades almost come out of your back. Think of them as wings. And on your exhale, push yourself back up to table. Tuck your toes under. And this time, push those hips up and back to downward dog. You can bend your knees plenty as long as you're opening that back. What we just did with the scapulas, with the shoulder blades, try to do it here. But roll the shoulders away from your ears, release the head, say yes and no. And then if you want, pedal the feet, walk the dog. Feeling the hamstrings a little bit. Explore movement here, maybe rotating the heels to one side and then to the other. It's up to you. You can also be still. Breathe in and out. Open that back. And come to stillness. Look forward. Bend your knees plenty. Hop or walk to meet your hands. Bend your knees plenty and let your belly rest on the thighs. Let gravity pull your head down and let the inhalation pull those hips up. One more wholesome breath here. Let your neck loose. Let your hands hang. Mm. And on your next inhale, you can bring your hands to your thighs or just rise up slowly as can be. Feeling every vertebra falling into place. Once you're up, I invite you to tuck the tailbone in a little bit so there's a pushing of the hips forward. Then, don't flur the rib cage. Bring it in. That will pronounce that corset that is called core. Open your shoulders, hands to the future. <laughs> Tadasana pose. Dig those feet into the mat. Ground yourself, but at the same time, shoot from the crown of your head up. Align all chakras. Come back to the yoga. Inhale, circle sweep the hands to the sky. Exhale, hinging from the hips, pushing the hips back, bending the knees, not letting the knees go over your toes. Come back to forward fold. Hold some breath here. Let yourself go. On your next inhale, bring the, f- the hands under your feet, step on them, and as we did before, same game here, let your head hang. On your exhale, pull down. On your inhale, push those hips up. Now maybe your knees are going to be straight, maybe not. Just create that muscle memory of stretching yourself and opening the lower back. Inhale down, pull down. Exhale, push those hips up. And release all activity. Step off your hands. Inhale, hands to the shins. Halfway lift. Stay here. Tuck the tailbone in. So I'm eliminating that curve in the lower back. Micro bend the knees. And if you need a little bit more, you can stay here. But if you need a little bit more, bring the hands over your head. 
engage the belly as if someone's going to punch you. I heard Kat says that. <laughs> Shout out to Kat. Hold it here. Push those hips back. Keep on breathing, engaging the core as strongly as you can. Your obliques are thanking you. And on your exhale, release down, hands to the mat, legs back to plank. Well, not back. This is the first plank. <laughs> so again, wrists under your shoulders. You want to stack the joint so you don't create any pressure on the ligaments. They do not stretch. Tuck the tailbone in. Engage the glutes. Again, that corset of a core is active like crazy. Inhale, exhale, push the mat away. Don't collapse into your shoulders. On the count of six, we're coming to the mat. So tuck those elbows in. Six, five, four, three, two, one, release to the mat. Leave the hands where they are. Untuck your toes. Hold some breath here. Mm. Baby cobra neck. So engage the feet, engage the glutes. Inhale while I'm talking. Exhale, come up. Roll those shoulders down. And release to the mat. Push to table. Push to child's pose. Hold some breath. And this is a beautiful break to have some water if you need, to circle your wrists, to use a towel if you're a sweater like me. I'm not a shirt, I'm a sweater. <laughs> And if you are in child pose, keep on breathing and bring it, bringing it all in. When you're done, meet me in downward dog. So tuck your toes under, hips up and back. Once again, open that back in downward dog. Roll the shoulders away from your ears. Say yes and no. Release the neck. Push those hips as far back as you can. Bend the knees plenty. Look forward and stay. Burn those thighs. Stay here. If you have healthy knees, bounce. Bounce. In that hovering, bounce. As if you're a cat about to jump. One more time and then either hop or walk to meet the hands. Forward fold, maybe bringing the hands behind your legs, pulling in. Release, come all the way up with your breath. Circle, sweep the hands up and to heart center. Big breath in. Let it go through your nose. <clears throat> Keep the heat. Inhale, circle, sweep the hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Maybe jump to plank. If you do, try not to land strongly. So your upper body is doing the work. Once again in plank, Make sure to adjust. Make sure to tuck the tailbone in. It will make the whole pose different. Then push the mat away. Open those armpits <laughs> and breathe. We were here four breaths. We were here. We will be here five. If you're like me and you need movement, you can push back and forth with your toes. But keep that engagement of the glutes. One more breath. Chaturanga Dandasana is next. 
or take the baby cobra option. Push over your wrists, halfway down, and tuck your toes upward dog. My hips are floating and downward dog with your exhale. Mm. Come back to the yoga, come back to the breath. On your next inhale, right leg goes up in the air. Lift the back heel. Bend the leg to your chest. We're doing it slowly, you guys. Push forward over your wrists. Round your back. Flex the foot and step it in between your hands. Runners. Come up to high lunge. Pay attention to that front knee stacked over the, uh, the ankle. Back leg open a little bit to the side. Hands to the ground. Breathe. If you want a little bit more, push that back heel down. You're creating one line between the head and the heel behind you. Engage the glutes, tuck the tailbone in. Nice. Push back the weight as I'm doing and come to your front leg, but just for a moment and come back to high lunge. Now play around with that. Your own pace, coming just up and down. Not very sophisticated and <laughs> not elegant. Just playing with the shifting of the weight. Now, come up, open to airplane. Lower that left hip down. Open the chest, bend the standing leg, bring the left leg to meet the right in chair. High chair. <laughs> Again, in chair, pay attention that your knees are not over the toes. Tuck the tailbone in. Open the chest. Breathe. Mm. Love Utkatasana. Beautiful, beautiful. Shift your weight into the left leg. Lift the right leg and push it back to high lunge on the opposite leg. Bring the right hand down and come to runners. Adjust. On your next inhale, open the left hand to the sky, twisting to the other side. If you want a little bit more here, lift the right hand over your head. Yes. Bring it down. Push the left leg to plank. Breathe. Who could have thought plank is resting pose, right? <laughs> if this is not in your practice, you can always lower your knees. Just breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Option here. Two, step the legs to the sides. So left to the, right, to the left, right to the right. And just step, 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 without compromising, tucking the tailbone. Three, two, one, Chaturanga Dandasana. Meet me in Downward Dog. just need to come back to the yoga come back to the breath on your next inhale left leg goes up lift the back heel bend the leg to your chest push forward round your back Hold it here, flex the foot, and then step it in between your 
hands. Adjust and come to a high lunge. So again, here, I never come to a pose and I'm in it. I take the time to adjust. So, I don't know, hip distance apart, strong back leg. If you need more, push that heel down. But I'm creating one line, crown of my head, back of my heel. And now, shift forward, lift the back leg, and back down. So it's a learning process. Take it as it is. So you know what the end game is. One more time. And come to warrior three or airplane. Straightening the standing leg, lowering that right hip, opening the chest, bending the standing leg, bring the hands to heart center, bring the right leg to chair. Breathe, tuck the tailbone in. I'm never here, I'm always here. So my shoulders are higher than my hips, always in chair. I can go down, it's still the same ratio. Shift your weight into the right leg and pull that left leg back. Come to runners, adjust. Left hand stays on the ground or on a block and open the right hand to the sky, twist. Once you're here, make sure you're strong enough to lift the left hand a little bit or bring it over your head. Tuck that tailbone in. That's what's holding me. And release the hands down, frame the front leg. Right leg back to plank. Lower those knees. And come to hero. Just for a moment, twist to the left, twist to the right. A little bit of unstructured movement here. If you need drink water, don't wait for me. Lift those knees up if you can. If you can't, do this. One, two, one, two, okay? If you can, lift them up, maybe using your hands or without. So this is, I'm pushing the back of my feet into the mat. Warm up from Tai Chi, making your ankles bulletproof, guys. And release down, slowly, don't bang the knees, come back to downward dog. Breathe. Take the right hand and grab hold of your left shin or heel. And then inhale on your exhale, twist under your armpit, look up. Push those hips back. And release. Hold some breath and take it to the other side. Left hand to the right heel or shin. Inhale, exhale, twist under your armpit. My regular joke is I hope you put deodorant. And release back. Bend your knees plenty. Look forward and hop to meet your hands. Bring it in to a forward fold as far as you can. Don't lock your knees, but try to straighten your legs now. Nice. Bring your hands to the mat and jump back to downward dog. Nice. On your next inhale, right leg goes up in the air. Lift the back heel and step it in between your hands. Setting up for warrior one. So back leg comes down, 
maybe 35 degrees to the left, front leg bent, hips square to the front, hands up, lower shoulders. So knee stacked over uh, the heel, interlace fingers behind your sacrum, open your chest and with your breath humble the warrior. You may bring the hands up, that will give you another push. And I always try to tear the mat apart with my feet here. So my legs are crazy active. Release the hands to the sacrum. Come on back up to warrior one and open to warrior two. I'm going to switch sides. <laughs> So, warrior two, as opposed to warrior one, here are my hips square in warrior one. Warrior two, it's a hip opener. So, I'm open to the side, right leg to the front, flip your front hand, reverse the warrior, exhale warrior two, inhale, exhale side angle. So, left hand is up. Option here to come to a bond. So, right hand that is on the thigh, come under the thigh and to the back. Then the left hand meets it in the behind. Yes, beautiful. If you are doing this for a long time, you can come to paradise, the bird of paradise, like Molly here. If not, stay here with me, opening the chest. Release down, release the hands, come back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, flip the front hand, and push back. This is called sky archer. You can bring the left hand, hold the right wrist and yank a little bit, but not too hard, right? Bring it back to warrior two. Straighten the leg once again. Push forward, side, triangle, not side, triangle. <laughs> Push those hips back. Well, it's not back, it's to the left and push those shoulders away from your ears. Think you are in between two walls and someone is pressing you there. Bend the front leg, the right leg, and come back to warrior two. Bring the right leg and foot to be parallel to the left. Five pointed star. I'm opposite to you because of the camera, guys. <laughs> it's nothing personal, Corina. <laughs> Open your hands. Micro bend the knees. Push those hips back first. So straight back. That's where I want you to be. Then bend the knees some more and hinge forward. Grab hold of your feet or shins and shift your weight onto your toes. Maybe bringing the head to the mat, pulling with your hands. Pay attention to your belly. How is it breathing? And then release the pull. Bring the hands to the center. A little bit in front of the hands, not really in between the hands, but at the center. Bring those heels in and side bends just to release those thighs from side to side. Nothing too elegant. Take your time. It's your pace. Try to leave the feet on the ground. That's where I'm headed. If this is agreeable with you and you like it, 
maybe rise up, hands to heart center, side lounges here. So again, we're shifting weight here. This is the game, shifting weight. Take your time with your breath. And at some point, just bring those hands back to the center. Come to center. Right, bring those hips up. Bring those feet to be parallel or not. Whatever you feel is best for your body. Open your hands to a T. Engage the core. Suck it in and then come up. Right leg points to the front. Back to warrior two. Inhale, circle sweep or cartwheel or throw the back leg and the back hands. Using again exactly that control of weight. So we maybe go back and then forward. So you want to have the front leg do the work. See, I can lift the left leg. Well, I could before. <laughs> and bring it down. Inhale, circle, sweep the hands to the sky. Stay here, hands together, engage glutes. Let the head hang back. A little bit of a back bend, not too, sh not too deep. One breath and come back up to standing. Hands to heart center. Inhale, circle, sweep the hands. Exhale, hinge forward, all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Leave the left hand on the shin. Bend the right leg. Bring the left hand to hold your left shoulder. You see where I'm at? Great, now twist, twist. Look up. Release back down, bend both legs. Straighten the right leg, bend the left. Left hand on the shin, on the right shin. Sorry, yes. No, 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 no. I'm confused here. <laughs> the other way, yeah, yeah. And then on the shoulder. Sorry, I confused you. And come on back down. I switch sides, and when I switch sides, I got to. I got to. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift once again. Exhale, hands to the mat. Maybe jump to plank. Make it swift and tender. If you want, five push ups. Slow push ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Chaturanga Dandasana is next. Halfway down. Inhale. Upward dog. Downward dog. Mm. On your next inhale. Left leg goes up. Back heel. Bend to the chest. Step it in between your hands. Setting up for warrior one. Come up. And breathe. Legs super, super strong. Hips square to the front. Lower those shoulders. Interlace the fingers behind your sacrum. Open the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Humble the warrior. All the way down. Once you're down and your legs are super, super active, lift that, those hands. Breathe in and out. Maybe push those hands back a little bit more. And on your next exhale, lower the hands. Come on back up and open up to warrior two. Adjust. If you need, <laughs> like I do, take a little bit of a break just to feel it. Once again, Opening, opening the hips to the right side this time. Flip the front hand, reverse the warrior. Right hand can do whatever. On your exhale, come back to warrior two. And side angle. 
Push those hips, engage the core. Lower those shoulders. If you want, come to bond. So, from the front, Taylor, from the front. Left hand from the front, under the thigh, and then right hand behind you. Yes, you got it. You can come to Bird of Paradise. Wow, Amy. Beautiful. Release back down. Release the hands. Come back to Warrior One, straightening the front leg. Sky Archer is next. Bend back, maybe holding the wrist and just stretching. Oh, this feels so good. And then back to Warrior Two, bending the knee. Don't give up those transitions. We need them. Then straightening the leg again, coming to triangle, flipping the hands to the right, pushing hips forward and to the right back. <laughs> Open the chest as we did before in the bonding. Think that your right hand is behind you opening the chest. Beautiful adjustments, you guys. And then bend the front leg. Come back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg and bring the left leg to be parallel to the right. Take a breather. Intense. Take a breather. You can cork the hands like Jody is doing. Beautiful. You can even take a break here by interlacing the fingers behind your back, exactly, opening the chest. But please don't curve your back. Tuck the tailbone in. Just open the upper body. Then come back to center. And bring those heels in. Bend the knees, coming to goddess. So here, I advise you to just Mobilize yourself a little bit. Maybe hands on the hips and just roll the shoulders in for a little bit. It's a beautiful, beautiful stretch for the spine and the thighs. Just stretch and come at some point to goddess. Two pointers here. Tuck the tailbone in. Knees same direction as your toes. Don't open the feet too much. You're not going to be stable. Bring them in 35 degrees or so. Hands can be in heart center or lotus. And with shifting weight is the theme today. <laughs> We're going to shift our weight to the right leg, straightening the left. Then the other side. Do not move from your hips up. Just play along. Maybe coming lower. And here... Hands can come in the game. So just open the hands, maybe circle them back in. And I invite you to come down if you can and want to challenge yourself. And then coming up, up, coming right up and got going to the other side. So in order to do that with the feet on the ground, I'm shifting weight in my pelvis. I'm pushing it back, coming down. Hands do whatever. You can even come up. And at some point, just keep on exploring here. You can even bring the hands into a circular motion. Maybe pull back a little bit. Just try. And I see beautiful movement. You can sweep your hands down and up as well. And the other side as well. Just play around with it. But if it's not for you, you can just wait for me in goddess. Push that bum bum forward. <laughs> Open 
the inside of your thighs. And everybody meet me in goddess. Big breath here. Come lower. Don't forget, knees the same direction as your toes. So you're opening the thighs. Engage glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Come up. <sighs> Open up to warrior two with the left leg to the front. Bend the knees. Remember, with weight shift, back leg, back hand meeting the front. And go slow, slow, slow. <sighs> Big breath. Shake the legs. Shake, shake, shake. Drink some water. Engage in wiping the sweat. <laughs> I invite you to swipe the sweat. <sighs> We're good? I'm waiting for... Don't hurry up. Don't hurry up. I'm waiting. It gives me time to breathe too. I'm working here. <laughs> and talking. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Hip distance apart. Feet. Engage the glutes. So that will tuck the tailbone in automatically. Don't open your chest. Bring it in. Open your shoulders. Two different things. Open the hands. Look forward. Chin a little bit up, looking at the rising sun. Hmm. How beautiful it is to practice yoga. Inhale, circle sweep the hands to the sky. A little bit of a back bend, engage the glutes. You can go deeper this time. And come on right back up. Hands to heart center, come to chair. Stay in chair, you can go to Chair proper, hands over your head. Zombie hand, hands, or heart center, whatever you want. If you have a block, you can put it in between your legs. It's going to help you um, to keep the knees in the right place. Everybody, hands to heart center. Take the right elbow, bring it over the left thigh. I'm not mirroring you, so you're opposite. And twist. Now, once you twist, remember, hips lower than your shoulders. But don't keep your knees over your toes. Push those hips back. One more breath. Come back to center. Either proper chair or heart center. One more breath here. Take it to a twist to the other side. Left elbow over the right thigh. Lower that bum bum and then open up to the sides. Option to open the hands. One more breath. Come back to center. And come down to squat. It's not a yogi squat. It's just down. Yep, just down. Yes, if your feet were together, if you can't do that, just come on your heels. No, no harm done. Yeah, come back up. Push back up. Inhale, circle, sweep the hands to the sky. Come down to that squat. Try not to move your feet, only your hips. If you need, come here. You know what? Everybody, come here. You just gave me an idea, Molly. It's, it's Molly's fault. <laughs> Come on up on your toes. <sighs> and down. Nice. Come back to chair. Open your hands to a T. Right hand under the left. Going to eagle. Open the right leg to the side. And then wrap it around the standing leg. If you can, come down. Lower it. Look at something that is not moving. It's all about weight control. 
and release. Beautiful, everybody got it. Shake your hips, maybe wet ropes, just for a tiny bit. So the whole squatting coming up on the toes makes the legs burn just before we come to eagle. Circulation helps you, okay, in that pose. Because eagle, you're kind of stopping the circulation. Ready? Come to chair. Open the hands to a T. Left hand under the right. Shift your weight to the right leg. Open the left leg to the side. Bring it up, 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 up. And wrap it around. Then pay attention to your shoulders. Lower them back. Maybe sit down. Maybe align the knees to the front. Breathe. You guys are rock stars. And come up. Woo! Nice. A little bit of a circling of the hips. Maybe shake the legs. Maybe wet ropes. Whatever you want to just reset the body. Because hard work needs the reset button. <laughs> yes. Stand wherever you are. Inhale, circle, sweep the hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, jump for plank. Chaturanga Dandasana is next. Untuck your toes. Upward dog, downward dog, but then make your way down to your belly. Bring your knees to the ground and lower yourself to the mat. Just happy, happy mini Shavasana here. Once again, don't wait for me to drink water. In fact, I'm drinking. Cindy and Taylor are windshielding their legs. That's beautiful. You can do that. Just enjoy breathing, regrouping. Remember the scan from the beginning? Observe those places again. Where is the tension? Where is the pain? From my own experience working with pain, just tells you where your weaknesses are once you work those weaknesses pain subsides bow is next if bow is not in your practice please stay in baby cobra or any other back bend that is good for you so forehead to the mat bend those legs behind you hands grabbing the feet open the chest first then inhale exhale come up kick bring those knees together you can lower your head and breathe Maybe rock. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, open your hands to a T. Bring the right cheek to the mat. Bend the left leg and push it to the right side back. So this is called scorpion stretch. Lift that knee up. If you're a bendy type, 
you can bring your left hand behind you to grab the foot. If you need a visual look at me, take a pick and bring it back slowly as can be. Bring it back to the mat. Take it to the other side, bend the right leg, lift it, and then start pushing it to the back right side. You are tilting on your left shoulder. Then if you want, you can bring the right hand to grab your left foot. Sorry, left hand, right foot. What am I saying? <laughs> and bring it back slowly slow is the name of the game Whew. bring your hands to be a cushion to your head Whew. round and wholesome breath here Whew. Push yourself back up to table. Stay in table. Just had to organize the mic, sorry guys. Right hand with your inhale comes up. Exhale, thread it under the left. Stay here. I like to bring both hands palms of my hands together and then straightening the hands will I'll show you if I'm straightening the hands my left shoulder pulls back a little bit if you want you can lift the left leg up bring it back down bring the hands the left hand to the place and with your breath right hand comes up and back to table inhale left hand goes up exhale thread it leave those hips up yes again i bring both of my hands together in front of me and straightening the right hand pulling my shoulder back then right leg goes up breathe and release the leg back down bring the hands back in inhale left hand up exhale bring it down pull back to child's pose just for a minute open those knees as far as you can so intention of the pose now is to bring the belly to the mat now it might not happen but that's the intention breathe release the forehead to the mat mm. So this is a modification for frog. We're not all the way into frog, but if you wish to go deeper, pull yourself up to your forearms and push forward to the extent that is happy for you. Okay? You can also modify it to half frog. So one leg is straight, one leg is bent. You can help yourself with the blocks. And pay attention to your feet. Your feet can be open or shoelace side of the feet on the mat. Play around and breathe. Once you are in a very nice position, I'm just going to turn around. Breathe. Please pace yourself if you're doing one leg in about two breaths, 
do the other. Two to three, it's yours. It's your practice. But just indulge yourself. Most of us are in full frog. Take it to the other side, people, with one leg. Just don't forget to balance it. And by the way, if you stay be and, and take your time, it's fine. We're coming down to the mat, so take your time, you guys. Just breathe into it. And if you are in full frog, this is the time to come out of it really slow. The, I think I said it a million times, transition is a pose. <sighs> yeah, you can even walk forward with the hands and open those legs. Modification of upward dog, yeah. And then with your own sweet, sweet time, Come to your backs on the mat. Nice. Find a comfortable position on your back. Open the chest. Let your shoulders come down to the mat. Maybe opening the palms of your hands to the sky some more. Maybe corking the hands as we did through the class. Just to feel the upper side of your shoulder blade kissing the mat. Think as if I'm coming and pulling from the top of your shoulders with both of my hands. Pulling those shoulders down, opening your chest. Let your belly soften. Option here to put a yoga block under your sacrum if it's something you love to do and you know your body. We are not yet in Shavasana, but keep breathing as if we are. And then bend your feet, bend your legs and put your feet on the mat. Windshield the legs from one side to the other. If you have a yoga block, be conscious of it. You can do that on the yoga block. It's actually wonderful, but be conscious of it. And then bring it back to center. Take the right leg and put it on top of your left thigh. Open that right hip. option here to bring the left leg into your chest, interlacing the fingers either behind the, sh the thigh or on the shin, wherever your comfort level is. And breathe. Once again, pay attention that the whole span of your back is on the mat. Don't curl it, don't curve it. Lower the shoulders and breathe. Option here to straighten the left leg and grab hold of the foot.
and then with your breath and slowly come out of it. Bring the, the right leg back down. If you need a little bit of a windshielding from side to side, and then take it to the other side. Left leg on top of the right. You can stay here and open the left thigh by pushing the hand into it or lift the right leg onto your chest, then interlacing the fingers either the back of your thigh or your shin, pulling in, reminding you to keep the back straight. Well, it's never straight, but as neutral as can be. Option here to straighten the right leg and grab hold of the foot. And release slowly, bending the straight leg bringing the feet to the mat. Tuck and untuck the tailbone a few times, not coming to a bridge, just releasing that hard work of tucking the tailbone all the time in most of the poses. So just engage in that beautiful movement flow. And whenever you are ready, and I urge you to do whatever you need here, maybe happy baby, and rock from side to side, maybe hugging yourself with knees at the chest and then rocking from side to side. I'm urging you to take any little piece of energy that you still have out. And once it is out, come to the mat to switch a vasana. Bring your awareness back to the breath. Think of that beautiful movement of inhale and exhale. Readjust your relationship with the pain and tension. and take 10 to 15 breaths in complete silence.
and let your breath be present as it was before while bringing your mind back to your body maybe be thankful for all the presents you have got today from the practice. Start wiggling your toes, small movement to connect again, small movement in the fingers, maybe circling the hands. option here to bring the hands over your head and give yourself a nice stretch like after a really good night's sleep and release and at some point if that's your choice roll over to one side and push back up to a seated position facing me. You can stay in Shavasana or on your back. Feel free. It's your practice. I want to thank you for practicing with me. We're going to close the class with the sacred sound of Om. First, a cleansing breath. Inhale. Exhale through the nose. Mm. Inhale and Om. The spirit in me honors the spirit in you, and I never take it for granted that you come and practice with us. Namaste. Namaste. Have a great weekend, you guys. Or week. <laughs>